to start off by saying uh, congratulations to Yaya Mayweather uh, or Yana Mayweather. She's currently, uh, Kurt Floyd Mayweather confirms that she's carrying uh, the seed of NBA Youngboy. Barf. Uh, I hate that, that guy. Why you, well, he didn't do nothing to you. Yeah, because he literally thing. does look like the kid who eats all the red crayons in class. I fucking hate him. Be a young boy. He's just so like, he's just so annoying and dumb and like childish. Like, he's just like he's just stupid in my opinion. I just don't. I, he just gets under my skin. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> he's a family man. <laughs> Well, you don't he's like not it, a man. family man yeah he, he has kids. like eight kids and does he ever see any of them yeah i see pictures of him and videos of him with his child all the time with children all the time i mean i don't follow him but from what i see on blogs and shit i never seen that so because blogs Actually, maybe, I saw are, once. maybe i saw it once blogs are but how are you his image, huh? and how are you like 18 with six kids technically he's like 22 i think 21 all right fine but still he got. He started having kids at sixteen. Actually, we know someone like that in real life. Do we? Yeah, we can't put them on blast though. Oh. <laughs> I'll text you who it is right now. Oh okay. I don't think they would care if we put them on blast, but like, I'm not gonna do it anyways. So oh gonna... ah, I know who you're talking about now. Yeah. Yeah. I, so I almost just texted them instead of you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So since they're doing it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, not to say it doesn't matter, but it shows that. I know. I I, I came to that conclusion. Yeah. I'm just making sure that you knew who so, it was. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. He just pisses me off. But uh, I mean, good for her. She's stupid for having. She, she just, like, why would you want? Okay, this is my thing. Why would you want to have kids with someone who has all his baby mamas are different, right? They're none of them are the same. None of them are the same. Exactly. Why would you want to have kids with somebody like that? I remember seeing this comment on the Black TV website, and they said instead of her being like the I guess a shiny role model for young black women that are that come from a wealthy background uh, to go on and do like great things. Uh, she ends up being like a stereotype by having a child uh, with a man who has multiple uh, children by different women, mm-hmm. and uh, you know ends up trying to stab another person who's carrying his child as well. That's also why I hated her too. Yeah. I hate both of them. She's fucking psycho. Who the fuck does that? I mean, oh my god, I can't. I can't. It's a, unfortunate. I'm not to say it's a it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Uh, can you say blessing in disguise? No, yeah. it's not really in disguise no more. I mean, it's a blessing though. I mean, bringing a kid into this world is is, is something that's a beautiful thing. Uh, Floyd Mayweather, uh, obviously as a father, he you know probably low key disappointed, but he says he's supportive. He's like, hey, if this is what you want to do, then uh, I'm here to support you. Yeah. And um, young boy's mom responded. So in the interview, Floyd made comments because um, the interview, Jason Lee, he was saying basically how, oh, like, how did you feel when young boy called you like a uh, bitch ass daddy or something? Um, and no, no, bitch ass daddy. No. <laughs> yeah. Yo, that was a viral video, man. And um, and then basically uh, Floyd was like, you know, I can't be mad at a kid. Like it all starts in the home and teaching them respect pretty much. Mm-hmm. And a uh, young boy's mom goes on Instagram live to respond. And she's like, um, she's just saying like, keep my name out of your mouth and blah, blah, blah. Like no one said your fucking name. Honestly, they're all just stupid. I can't stand either one of them. Yeah. I, I really seriously just hate them both. I mean, Florida does have a point. But yeah. Also has a point, but like, I, yeah. I can't stand young boy. I can't stand his mom. And I can't stand Floyd's daughter either. Like house, like it's just a big circle of stupidity. Mm-hmm. Can't That's tell cool. what, can't tell what the heart wants, right? Yeah, like it's just, it's just dumb. Anyways, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Uh, also, this other went viral as well. Remember Bad Baby? Yeah, how could we forget? <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be honest, I honestly forgot. To be honest, <laughs> uh, but when I saw this pop up on my uh, on the internet, uh, people com- commenting on her relationship. She's seventeen years old currently, and her boyfriend is twenty years old. And she posted out on the internet, and you know. Uh, people had things to say about the age difference in terms of the fact that he's 20, she's 17, and she started defending it by saying, hey, some of you guys, some of your moms are like 34 and your dad's 50-something. Like, three years is nothing. Like, she tried to brush it off as something like. Mm-hmm. Uh, granted, yes, three years is nothing. But I honestly feel like when you're 20 years old, uh, I don't feel like 
girls that are 17 have hit their physical peak in terms of a woman that's like seven that's in their 20 or early 20s or something okay that but not even that but like if you're 20 okay if you're 17 and dating a 20 year old it doesn't yeah. look bad it just looks whatever okay yeah. but if you're 20 and dating a 17 year old it looks like you're a loser point blank period because you're Granted, someone who's yeah. way younger and still technically in high school like you just you look like a loser at that point so from one one point it looks normal i get it and like yeah if i was 17 dating a 20 year old i'd be like cool i'm not 18 but like it's not that big of an age difference whatever but yeah. if i was the 20 year old's friend and he was dating a 17 year old i'd be like Yo, you're a loser what the fuck are you doing i can see the i can see how you say the the uh, uh, loser yeah oh. Uh, to be honest, I don't feel like 17-year-old girls would necessarily stack up to uh, a girl that's, like, 20. I mean, well, when you're bad baby and you have money, right? Like, yeah. it is what it is. Granted, I feel like you, after 17, you still got some developing to do. I, 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 like, <laughs> Why is it all physical? <laughs> you don't think he cares about her personality? <laughs> all right, man. All right. All right. <laughs> If we're gonna go there, no, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Like she's not as developed, but like, why does that even matter at this point? Like, like, okay, exclude that. It's just okay. first of all, he's a loser for going after someone who's 17. Maybe okay. All right, all right. Granted, all right. Check this out. All right, if we're not gonna be talking about physical looks, all right. Since Nina wants to go a little deeper, all right. Bad baby has money. Yeah. Right. She's been. She has some fame. She got some notoriety. I don't know who dude is, but maybe dude has money and maybe he's able to do certain things that most can't. And she's with, and they're equaled in the financial field and, and they're able to do certain things. Like maybe he could buy her a Birkin, she could buy him a G-Wack and type of things. And that's probably cute. All right. Uh, yeah, that's where I'm going with it. Okay. Well, <laughs> money. Maybe money. Maybe the money is make it equal. Just because the same way how you saw Tiger with Kylie. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. They both have money, so it's like, all right, it makes it. You kind of understand where I'm coming from. Yeah. But, well, dudes, I don't know, if dudes like super popular from where he's at, but if you got money, then you, there's some, but there's a bit of an understanding for bad baby to go like, okay, you understand uh, the fact that I have so much money and, and able to do certain things, and we could do things together. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah, I don't know. That just, I just, just next, next, next. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't do no shit like that, but granted, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> next, next. Uh, all right. So the debate. Oh, so this was like a hot debate over the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, the debate. The baby was nominated for twelve uh, BT Hip Hop Awards, and he came back home with nothing. Man, I've never yep. seen any. I never seen a disgrace like this in my life. Yep. Uh, people really like how you get nominated for twelve and not well, get. You were the leading nominee. Yeah, and not get nothing. Zero. Nothing. And he, you know, he was kind of like nonchalant about it. He was like, baby made a million dollars like the day after and whatever, whatever. So he doesn't seem like to be taking it serious, which a lot of people don't seem to be taking the BET Hip Hop more seriously, which is, in a way, it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and thing. So, and because Megan was the biggest winner of the night with three yeah. awards. Yeah. So check this. So when it came to Megan, right, in a lot of her categories, granted, if certain people were in that category where she was facing, then, okay, she would win the award. Mm -hmm. But in terms of certain categories that she was in, it was kind of a hard sell to kind of let people know that, all right, she deserved to win. In terms of, like, Hustler of the Year, and she, yeah, she got the Fenty. She has some other things that might have went well. But Oh, yeah, she, you're okay. Yeah. She was also in the category with Travis fucking Scott who has been doing collaborations with McDonald's, who I think the only other person that did a collaboration with McDonald's uh, in terms After of black him was, was Bad Bunny. Yeah, well, not even Bad Bunny. In I think before it was Michael Jackson. Michael oh. Jackson or Michael Jordan. Okay. So that, the collaboration with McDonald's, big, hustler of the year. His drink, uh, cactus, cacti, whatever it's called. Yeah, that too. He did, um, what the else is it? His puff. That, exactly. Uh, Fortnite. He okay, so something. that's what Hustler of the Year. I see, yeah. I, heard the, I heard the category and I was like, what the fuck is Hustler of the Year? Yeah, you know, you're doing different things. So in terms of a year for hustling, Travis Scott obviously by far has really landslide 
overcasted Megan in terms of Megan. Yeah, movie. all Megan really has is what Revlon and and her uh, endorsement from Fenty. Yeah, I think so. There might be one more that I might be over. Uh, I might be forgetting, but in terms of like the impact of certain things, Travis Scott. I think Travis Scott really displayed that he was a hustler this year. Yeah, you're right. You I know? agree. Yeah, uh, but for her to win it, it was kind of like it doesn't. Everyone compa- with- compared yeah. to Travis. It doesn't necessarily make sense. All right. So, granted, there's other categories she's won. It was like, all right, we could do some stuff like that. Uh, in terms of, I guess, Artist of the Year, she had she was up against uh, Drake, Roddy Rich, Drake, Future, Lil Baby, yeah. and Roddy Rich. Okay, so in that category, Meg I, had a Meg, oh, 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 you want to say something? Yeah, I was gonna say sorry. In in my opinion of that, yeah, I, it, that's a tough group. But I wouldn't say she wasn't. I wouldn't say she wasn't deserving of that award. She was a pretty popular artist this yeah. year. I wouldn't say that that was an award where she just got out of sympathy, yeah. which a lot and of all, people were saying on the internet. Yeah, I'm mean, granted. Like I said, there's categories. If there weren't certain people in it, it would be like, all right, yeah, give it to her. But mm-hmm. there's certain, like I said, there's certain categories where certain people uh, participate in it. It's kind of a harder sell. Yeah, and it's kind of harder to say that she is more deserving of that word just based on accolades. Uh, I don't know what they base their even their criteria on, but if we're going off of numbers and certain impact, uh, I feel like Roddy Rich, who had a very solid year, mm-hmm. outshined Megan in terms of he had he had a number one song by himself. He His was album. on a, yeah, he was the album went well. He was on another number one, which was the baby, mm-hmm. uh, baby's rock star as well, and. You know, he was able to showcase his. It, he was able to showcase how well his talent is by being a solo artist. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, if you really look at it, all Megan's number ones, which is only two, uh, both ha- are, are part of a feature. So mm-hmm. she was a feature. She had a feature for Beyonce that you know powder bolted her to number yeah. one. She was a part of Cardi B's song, which she was a feature on that went up to number one. Mm-hmm. Uh, she has some certain feats that she was unable to do by herself. First week album sales in terms to in terms of you know the baby or Roddy Rich uh, plummets in terms of certain things. So, I, like I'm saying, I'm not quite sure what the BT Hip Hop Awards base their criteria on. Sympathy. And if it is sympathy, <laughs> if it's sympathy, if she got shot in the foot and they were like, you know, let's just give it to her. Uh, let's just show that we we fuck with black women and just give it to her. Then it's kind of like. I see it was why his credibility. Yeah, I see why people weren't too pressed about the winning the award. Power. Yeah, and we, and the sad thing about it is that we've been saying, "Yo, let's put more support into the BT Hip Hop Awards because the Grammy doesn't fuck with us." We go turn to the BT Awards and go like, and they "Whoa, Grammy da. they Grammy, they, the yeah, they Grammy us." They were like, "Whoa," and then it's like, "Yeah, all right, then fuck you know." Yeah. Yeah, so it kind of looks like a joke. 